Hello everybody, my name is Ufol and welcome back to Station Years. Uh, today I wanted to show you how you can automate uh, the control of uh, any fuel generator. Because uh, sometimes it happens that uh, your solar uh, is not enough and you run out of power during night time and you quickly need to add some, some juice to your battery. So what you would normally do is switch that generator and let that battery battery fill up but uh, if you just leave it unattended it will burn all of it cold here and one stack can easily fill up the battery several times like three or so and it would be just a waste to leave it running when the battery is full so we need to set up some automation to that. Here it is. It's not very complex, but sometimes uh, it can be a bit tricky to, uh, to invent by, the, by yourself, especially with this select unit. I'll get that in a moment. And uh, what it does, it takes the uh, battery ratio, it close that, it's on the bottom there. This is the uh, percentage uh, of uh, charge of uh, power that the battery holds. It goes from zero empty to one when it's completely full. And this logic reader reads that value. You can easily uh, swap this with battery reader and uh, so that it can read all of the batteries that you have. And then it sends the signal to compare unit. Now, the compare unit uh, takes signal from select and it compares the value uh, that this select unit sends to it. And select unit can choose between low and high value. This is our thresholds uh, or percentage at which uh, the battery should trigger the engine on or off. This is like 20% and 80%. And when the battery is like low power, currently is close to zero, the compare unit will, will compare uh, this uh, charge with what it got uh, from the memories. Uh, currently it will be below any of this uh, any of these uh, memories, so it will uh, always be less. This should be set to the output uh, less, and in this case, always send one. When select unit uh, gets uh, signal one, you can see a little zero here. It's a, one is on this side. It it have to take a signal from memory high. This is here, uh, zero point eight. This will uh, make this compare unit um, only send one when uh, the when the charge is below value of the memory high, and also it outputs signal to logic writer. Once uh, the value goes get uh, higher than 0 0.8, it will return zero, and this will in turn switch the select to value 0, which is 0 0.2 on this memory low, and in turn the logic uh, compare unit will now compare uh, the ratio of the battery uh, to 0 0.2. So uh, in the end uh, it will trigger uh, the engine only after the battery goes below 20% and once that happens, engine starts and, uh, and it will carry on running until it hit the 80% threshold. Uh, and only then it will stop. So this is the easy way to set it up. And uh, it should actually work with uh, any, uh, any other device uh, that can be you know, uh, described in, in 0 to 1 uh, percentage. Uh, like, for example, some 
tanks that you want to fill up. Let's start it up and see if it's running. Yeah, you can see it started up. Charge is rising. Let's see what happened next. We're almost there. 75%. 80. And it's off. And now, if I start draining that battery, you can see the charge is rapidly going down. It pulls the generator stays off. Even though the charge is going down. And now 20%. And it's back on. Let's shut it off. Let's, uh, okay. So, just uh, remember that you always have to provide power to your uh, logic circuits. There, there's that uh, little, little lightning uh, icon there. I just run my under the floor. Uh, you can easily just remove some plates from your frames and you have access to all your all your wires and you can and you can put them underside that's no problem at all the cables can run everywhere and this way it makes it a bit easier to uh, understand okay so uh, you can also uh, create the same setup uh, using an uh, integrated circuit which we conveniently have he over here. If you're new to uh, integrated circuits in station years, uh, here's how it, uh, what you're gonna need to do. First, you'll need circuit housing somewhere in your base, a computer with uh, IC editor, motherboard inside, both of them uh, wired together and on the computer click edit uh, and library and if you subscribe to any uh, any scripts on uh, on steam workshop they should appear over here you choose you can choose one uh, click that uh, load icon it will ask you to overwrite you yeah you agree on that and then you can confirm. Of course, you can write your own script if you prefer. Uh, and that's it. Uh, just make sure the the right IC housing is selected. In this case, we have one, but if you have more, they will appear over here. And then export, and all that program is loaded to this IC chip. You can see. Over here, it's uh, nearly 7,000 bytes. So now, you can close that and put it back to the to the socket. You will need uh, to assign some devices uh, to pins on this uh, circuit. I'll quickly go back to the script, show what I mean. The script can communicate with a couple devices. Uh, in this case, um, the limit in station years is up to six, but you don't have to use uh, all of them. In this case, uh, there's battery, generator, um, optional batch reader, and optional display. And we will need to assign them to those pins. And if you don't see any label uh, on the pins, you can just quickly switch on and off. And after that, after that quick reset, you can see that yellow label, and it will tell you the exact same name of a device that is defined in the, in the program. So this is a battery, generator, and the, there is a display. So now we can switch it on. The display is already connected, so we can switch it on and see live uh, percentage of, of battery charge. The engine is running, and now it hit the threshold it's uh, charged up so the engine is off i can then tell you a little bit more about this, uh, this script it's very simple it takes uh, the devices that i mentioned early uh, i'll change the background quick uh, i made the comment line for every every comment here and uh, you should be able to 
uh, understand what the code is doing pretty easily. Uh, if you if you plan to use the script, uh, these two lines are going to be important for you. You can change the the values uh, the, at which the uh, engine is triggering. In this case, is 15% and uh, 85%. Uh, the rest of the script doesn't need uh, any any changes unless you of course know what you're doing so the first thing the script does is uh, reads data uh, it's either from battery uh, or if you use a batch reader it will uh, take data from this uh, and ignore battery altogether this is uh, just for for convenience so that you don't have to uh, change the script uh, depending if you if you use uh, one battery or or want to use it uh, with more of them the next thing uh, is uh, comparing the value so when the engine is running this uh, variable run engine it will be one so while this is one uh, it will only compare uh, to the high power state once it reach uh, that uh, that state the run engine will turn to zero it, this is this will uh, switch the engine off and then it will only compare uh, with a lower state and the last thing is controlling the engine so the engine uh, the engines uh, setting on will be changed to the value of run engine either zero or one those so on or off uh, in addition to that and this little line tells uh, the, the circuit to also output the same value value to its own setting so this allows you to connect any other logic for example you can use uh, batch writer and uh, assign its value to multiple uh, generators if you if you so wish there is one more thing that this script does it's displaying that uh, charge value it has a couple of uh, lines it just uh, changes the the color of uh, the color of lcd depending on the state when it when the power is below the threshold it's uh, red when it's uh, between the thresholds is uh, yellow and if it's above it's green and also while uh, it's charging it will turn orange and that's pretty much it let's get back to the, the thing so if you wish to use uh, any other uh, logic with uh, with this chip you can easily put uh, let's put a batch batch reader over here and we can also install that battery over here like that let's switch it on and now it's uh, just the type gonna be station battery average and ratio and let's switch it on and you can see it reads the value and now we need to uh, set batch reader let's switch it off in case just in case battery there right it is always a good idea to switch off any logic that you use when you are uh, changing the, their input on or outputs because uh, you have to cycle through different uh, devices and sometimes uh, it will mess up the output it will immediately pass it up, uh, to the next device and it might cause some errors so it's better to switch it off so it doesn't doesn't make any operations until you're ready and now you can see it returns the value from batch reader and you can even change the method to like minimum this will read the minimum value from uh, the least charged battery and in this case it will switch uh, the engine again maximum 
it will not change because the lower battery is charging. Or maybe slightly slower. Yeah, Anyways, you can see it does pretty much the same thing. If you have more engines, just uh, the same thing only with batch uh, writer, like that. Make sure to provide power as well. I had lines already prepared beforehand. And in this case, you provide as input, it's going to be IC housing, this one, and unless you change its name. IC housing, output type is going to be generator and on. And for this to work, you will need to un, uh, unassign the generator from the chip. Otherwise, the chip and the batch writer are going to uh, fight about it and it may cause some errors. It shouldn't because they, they're going to assign the same value, but it's good practice to leave only one device to, to modify the state. See? And there's no device. There's always that setting here, so we can unassign any device from the uh, pin. Let's switch it back on, and you can switch this one on. And let's drain the batteries and see what happens. Okay, I found a bug. Here it is, just one letter, and now it updates. Let's drain them. And, yep, both, the, both of the engines are on, and voila, it works this time. So that's it, and I hope you find that uh, tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, put them in the comments, and thank you for watching, see you next time.